हेलो टू ऑल वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल दिस इज संगीता आई एम रियली सॉरी फॉर द डिले बिकॉज माय फोन माइक वाज नॉट वर्किंग सो दैट इज़ व्हाई द वीडियो अपलोड कॉट डिलेड सो बिफोर डिस्कसिंग द एनालिसिस आई थिंक आई शुड अपलोड द आंसर की फर्स्ट बिकॉज आई कैन डिस्कस एनालिसिस आफ्टर दैट टू बिकॉज एवरी इज वेटिंग फॉर द आंसर की सो लेट्स सी इट विल मैच विद योर्स और नॉट बिकॉज द आंसर मे वेरी बिकॉज यू पी एस सी इट्स दे डोंट अपलोड एनी ऑफिशियल आंसर की सो प्लीज डोंट माइंड इफ एनी आंसर्स डज नॉट मैच विद द ऑप्शन विच यू हैव चूज बिकॉज इट कैन वेरी स्टार्टिंग विद द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन द मूवमेंट अलॉन्ग कंजर्वेटिव प्लेट बाउंड्रीज आर गवर्न बाय सी कंजर्वेटिव प्लेट बाउंड्रीज टर्म इज रिलेटेड टू ट्रांसफॉर्म प्लेट बाउंड्री राइट इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज कंजर्वेटिव एंड डाइवर्जेंट प्लेट बाउंड्री इट इज कॉल्ड एज constructive and convergent boundary it called as destructive because one plate is getting destructed by getting that transfer boundary concept in our mind hot spot and mid oceanic ridges they themselves get removed from the options so we got an option a and b in between euler pole is correct as per my point of view okay next is the sedimentary basin that exists on the trench side of volcanic arc of subduction zone is called see this is oceanic crust which is getting subducted this is the continental crust and here you will get trench so they are asking uh, what will be on the side of volcanic arc where subduction is going it will be called as four arc basin and where divergence is going on it will be called as back arc basin all right and here is the reference for that see here this plate is getting subducted this plate is getting subducted and here spreading is going on or mid oceanic ridges ridges present over here so back arc will be present on the mid oceanic ridge part and wherever the subduction is going on it will be called as 4 arc basin which of the following is most stable type of triple junction so it is clearly written in the condi book or you can see one table also there where all type of uh, triple junction is mentioned whether it is rrr ridge 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 trench 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 okay so the most stable one is ridge ridge and ridge uh, ridge ridge triple junction you can clearly see lateral displacement between two adjoining tectonic plates so here it's clearly written that lateral displacement is going on between two plates so it is transform fault so answer for this one is four bulge you can refer this diagram here you can see offset drainage is given sag pond is given scarp is there linear valley is there so out of them four bulge is the wrong one first so diapers are the granite masses which originate at depth and rise very slowly to the surface this is correct diapers rise because the hot rock of which they are composed is denser than the surrounding country rock so it is wrong because if if anything wants to get uplifted some buoyancy should be there so it will be there when it will be lighter than the surrounding part then only it will get uplifted right so second statement is wrong first one is correct and you can refer this diagram sediment are found associated with trench is generally called so it is ophiolite normal to the acute bisectors so by reading the normal term you can clearly mark optic normal figure as the answer okay next question is very simple the chemical composition of amphibole is so it is the first one which is w01 x2 i5 okay and this is the reference which i have pasted here in which of the following compositional ranges of plagioclase composition do hutton locher intergrowth occur so we have read that solid solution occur in plagioclase but it will be new term for those who don't know that some micro intergrowths are present in plagioclase too okay so answer for this one is anorthite 62 anorthite 85 and 
if you want a reference i will uh, i will show one picture of a book okay it will come over your screen and it's written on that page okay i will paste that too which of the following mineral is not a part of calcite group so magnesite it is a past part of calcite group rhodochrosite is also a part of group siderite is also a part of group so anchorite will be the answer the reference for calcite group you can read it out if you want for your next examination so you should remember all of these minerals like magnesite smithsonite siderite rhodochrosite otavite and calcite so which one of the following twin is not a part of monoclinic crystal system bivano uh, manibac and swallow these all are part of monoclinic brazil twin is not a part of monoclinic because quartz show brazil twin and quartz itself is a hexagonal crystal system okay and this is the example or the reference for that this is the first one is swallow next is manibac bivano and carlsberg these three are example of hexagonal crystal system twins which is brazil dauphin and japan right so it is pyrite and this picture i have posted for the reference you can read it out three mutually perpendicular axes of equal length so it is isometric system so you should re remember this table while solving this type of questions that you can start with tmo tc trihex okay you can remember in this way or any other mnemon mnemonic you can make for this so number of brevius lattices are 1 2 4 2 3 1 and these are the condition okay so they have directly asked from uh, so cubic is also called as isometric if you don't know uh, so i have i am telling this for bsc students too who are, who are new into this and those who have completed their msc they they already know about it so mean a deficient rock containing quartz with sodium pyroxene and amphibole is classified as so first of all you know that it is alumina deficient so option 3 and d they also they get cancelled out automatically b will be the correct one so this is just theory about alumina saturation uh, when it will be called as per aluminous and what kind of mineral you can expect in per aluminous rock and what condition is for metal alumina and this is for the per alkaline one what will be the degree of freedom at eutectic point of cal2 s2 o8 and camg si2 o6 system under the isobaric condition so they have clearly written that they want a degree of freedom at eutectic point so you will directly mark zero Which one of the following texture consists of irregular warm shift quartz blips in plagioclase host adjacent to alkali feldspar grain? So it is myrmecite. So it is a warm shift myrmecite itself. The word says that it is. It will be more warm like. And these are the. This is the picture which I have pasted for the reference. That these are intergrowth texture which is graphite, porphyrite, myrmecite, granophyric. and in equal equi granular one are porphyritic poikilitic ophitic and vitrophyric so which one of the following geochemical reservoir is characterized by high smnd and high nd nd value so it is depleted mantle so you can refer this image for this question okay to jo log bhi chaudhary sir se padhe hain pu mein to unko pata hi hoga ye diagram kitni baar unhone bataya so you can clearly see in this diagram that nd nd ratio is given and here in depleted mantle you can see high smnd values are there toshonite series is characteristically associated with which one of the following plate tectonic setting so it is associated with convergent plate margin okay we know that and we have, we have read in earth material too that in the late stage of convergent where oceanic plate it is getting subducted under the continental plate we will get what we will get k rich basalt which is shoshonite next is mg number is calculated by which one of the following formula so it is b the process by which blocks fall from the roof of magma chamber and sink to the lower part is called as stopping mingling nahi ho sakta we know that for mingling there should be two different melts right liquid immiscibility it is a different thing differentiation is also a different thing 
विच टाइप ऑफ फॉलोइंग रॉक टाइप टिपिकली डिस्प्ले परफेरेटिक पेनिडियोमोफिक टेक्सचर सो इट इज कोमेटियाइड विच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज द करेक्ट सिक्वेंस ऑफ इकनोफेश इन टर्म्स ऑफ इंक्रीजिंग बेथेमेट्री इन अ मेरीन बेसिन सो इट इज सी ट्रिपेनाइड कोलिथोस क्रूजियाना एंड जूफाइकस यू कैन गेट दिस डायग्राम इट्स इट इट इज गिवेन इन गैरी निकोल्स एज वेल एज इन दी सैम बॉक्स इट्स रिटर्न ट्रिपेनाइड्स देन यू कैन सी इज कोलिथोस देर वॉज वन क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम ग्लोसी फंजाइड्स टू इन दिस पेपर देन क्रूजियाना जूफाइकस एंड नेडिट्स सेम डायनामिक विस्कॉसिटी देन वी कैन से इट इज अ न्यूटोनियन फ्लूड ओके and pseudoplastic and thixotropic substance they have some amount of strength it is not said that it has no strength so answer will be non newtonian fluid this question is very interesting a suit of heavy mineral consisting of epitite biotite monazite hornblende rutile tourmaline and zircon present in the sandstone indicates its derivation from so if हेयर इट इज़ रिटर्न दैट जिरकन एंड हमें पता है कि जिरकन बहुत सारी साइकल्स ऑफ वेदरिंग और जितनी भी कंडीशन है सबको सफ़र कर जाता है सो इट इज रिसाइकल सेडिमेंट्री सोर्स ओके सो ट्रांसफर माइट बी द आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन बट दे हैव सेट इट इट शुड हैव यूनिफॉर्म इन डायरेक्शन सो डीनियर वुड बी द आंसर फॉर दिस वन Which one of the following primary sedimentary structure can be best used as a paleo current indicator? So it is parting lineation. So paleo current indicator, I have pasted this picture just for the reference. You can read it out. An evenly distributed sheet of debris that form out of the retreating glacier is called as end moraine. Which one of the following metamorphic structure will result due to the alignment of long axis of elongate mineral grain? So it is lineation, melanosome, and lycosome are part of which of the following rock type? It is migmatite. Migmatites are the product of which one of the following type of metamorphism? So they are product of cataclastic. metamorphism equilibrium mineral assemblage are indicated by lines connecting the phases that coexist in a compositional phase diagram so it is tie line this composition this composition and the line which is connected both of them of equal uh, of same composition it is tie line formation you can uh, get the diagram of all type of uh, tectonic deformation whether it is pre syn post in the winter book okay uh, you can clearly see all the diagrams given in that part so they have asked this question many times chloritoid plus quartz is equal to garnet staurolite plus chloride plus h2o so answer will be terminal discontinuous reactions for the reference i have given this diagram and i have taken this uh, image from one ppt from patna university i, I really liked it so it was written that reaction can be of one is reaction effect second is reaction progress and third is phases which are involved so next is categorization on the basis of phases involved so it can be solid solid polymorphic devolatization terminal ion exchange or tie line flip terminal reaction here you can see clearly it is written chloritide will be equal to staurolite plus garnet plus chloride okay next which one of the following reactions typically marks the second selenite isocrat for berovian metamorphism in metapellites so answer is third muscovite plus quartz equal to selenite k felsbar plus h2 so whole paper is from winter book only you don't you have no need to follow any other book the intimate intergrowth of two or more mineral that have nucleated and grown together comprising a single shell of a reaction rim or corona is called as symplectite consider the following statement regarding geomorphic system in this one i feel third one is not correct so far according to me one and two are correct here you can see uh, transfers tab hoga when there will be sands there will be large amount of sand supply and 
bargain it will be limited sand supply and star when wind blow from uh, many direction and this is for the C will be fourth one. The image is reference for Barkan transverse parabolic and Barkanoid ridge and this is their disc description which you can read it out for your next examination. This is very important diagram for dune forms if there is large sand supply, vegetation, wind strength. Okay, If there is large sand supply you can see transfer dune will form. No dune form will when there is vegetation then there will be no formation of dune. Okay and high wind strength longitudinal dune should form. So, this is how you can read it out from this triangular diagram. So, it is unusual positive garnet we know it is isotropic. So, it was automatically getting see A4 and B1. So, yeah we got the first one. You can follow for your next examinations for an orthotide what is the crystal system, indicator is optic sign, by references they can ask ok. So, you, you have to remember this table anyhow. The Sanbagawa Ryoko belt of Japan is example of paired metamorphic belt which is clearly written in the winter book and you can see one diagram too which I can show this one. Another example for paired metamorphic belt is Ryoko Abukama and next one is Sanbagawa ok. So, which of the following is not a part of process of deformation, recovery and recrystallization. So, cataclastic flow it is a part of this, pressure solution is also part of this. So, poikiloplastic formation is not a part of this deformation, recovery and recrystallization. In metamorphic texture you will read about the deformation, recovery and recrystallization and the first one is cataclastic, second one is pressure solution. It will cause decrease in volume of rock and increase in the density. A vertical fault it is a type of strike slip fault. So, in that both footfall and hanging wall they will not be present. This is the image for reference. Bedding joint they are parallel to the bedding of the associated rocks. If it is written dip then it will be parallel to the dip. If it is written strike it will be parallel to the strike. Okay, you can attempt these questions like this. The ratio of amplitude A of a fold measured along the axial surface to the distance M measured between the adjacent okay, A by M inflection point se lekar axial surface ka distance it will be aspect ratio. This is the image for reference here these points on the limbs they, they are called as inflection point ok and this distance is breadth. So, aspect ratio is amplitude over the breadth. So, the joints which are striking perpendicular to the strike of bedding plane ok. If it is parallel then it is bedding joint. If it is parallel to the strike then it is strike joint. If it is diagonal to the uh, strike then it is diagonal joint. Now, they are saying it should be perpendicular to strike. So, it will be dip joint. Okay. Minor fold form on the limbs of the larger fold when a competent bed slide past an incompetent bed. So, these beds are called drag folds or drag folds ki to definition hi hai hai these are minor asymmetrical fold within major fold but confined only to incompetent bed which are sandwiched between the competent one. These develop because of the sharing as well as the dragging effect. The line of maximum curvature in a folded bed is known as hinge line. This image is just an reference for the question. The smooth and polished surface exposed along the fault plane are called as slicken sides. The dip slip component of fault may be described as the vector sum of its vertical and horizontal components. These components are respectively known as heave and throw. One is correct that uh, 
here lies the PGC okay then there will be unconformity and in the top lies the Deccan trap. In India the disappearance of Hipparion and first appearance of Eliphas Leptobos are used for the delineation of I am confused for this one I have chosen the C option if you know the correct one do comment down in India sub in Indian subcontinent the occurrence of Cardita Piemonte uh, bed is correlated with Danonage the mappable stratiform body of sedimentary rock that are defined on the basis of bounding literally traceable discontinuity rather than based on the lithologic change are known as allo stratigraphic unit ttps slash slash okay. you can just google this out or aapko sare terms ke bahut hi sundar definition milega so do check it out a rock strata classified on the basis of unique association of three or more taxa it's referred to तो ये भी मैंने वहीं से ही देखा है और मैंने इसका आंसर चूज़ किया असेंबलेज बायोजोन सो अकॉर्डिंग टू मी इट इज सी और ये रेंज बायोजोन टेक्सोन बायोजोन यू कैन रीड इट आउट फॉर योर कन्वीनियंस I have pasted this image as a reference. Here you can see Seringotheres limestone. After that lies the Fenestella shale, then agglomeratic shale, then Pangil volcanics. Okay. Which one of the following term is related to the discipline sequence stratigraphy? So it is system track. Very easy question. A sedimentary rock body that include one or two bounding surface, not synchronous, is referred to as. So it is dichronic unit. And ये भी मैंने उसी link से लिया जो मैंने आपको ऊपर दिखाया था. और बायो स्ट्रेटिग्राफी क्रोनो स्ट्रेटिग्राफी आप उसको जरूर पढ़ना आपके सारे एग्जाम्स में हेल्प करेगा द यंगेस्ट ग्रुप ऑफ रॉक्स फ्रॉम द आर्कन माउंटेन बेल्ट ऑफ नॉर्थ ईस्ट इंडिया इज नोन एज डेहिंग ग्रुप ड्यूरिंग मोल्टिंग ट्राइलोबाइट शेड देयर शेल अलॉन्ग दी फेशियल सूचर विच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग जेंडर बिलोंग टू द लोअर गुंडवाना फ्लोरा सो इट इज निगेरो थियोपसिस द प्लेस इन होमन एंड स्ट्रेलोपेथिकस एफरेंस स्केलेटन डिस्कवर्ड इन 1934 नेम्ड एस लूसी इस पर मूवी भी बनी थी शायद आपको पता होगा वॉज फर्स्ट रिपोर्टेड फ्रॉम दी इथियोपिया द मल्टी सेलुलर मेटाजोन नोन एज एडिया कारन फॉसल वो फर्स्ट डिस्क्राइब फ्रॉम द टाइप लोकेलिटी ऑफ ऑस्ट्रेलिया तो ये टी के बिस्वाल के दोस्त हुए वॉस्ट वीडियोज ऑफ टी के बिस्वाल सर दे कैन ईजिली आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन Which one of the following echinofacies is characterized by the boring in wood? So it is glossy fungites, echinofacies. Which one of the following group shows prominent heteromorphic shell during evolution? So those who have watched my paleontology video, uh, they can read it out from there that ammonites they show heteromorphic shells. Which one of the following larger benthic foraminifers serve as index fossil for shallow uh, tropical carbonate of late Paleozoic C? So it is. Uh, numulates which one of the following mass extinction for the conodont it is and triassic mass extinction the following statement regarding sensor resolution so i have chosen third as correct option 76 is match the following with their resolution okay so these are the satellites which is spot landsat uh, tm which is thematic mapper irs then eso and we have to match with the resolution okay here it is written that irs it has resolution of 23.5 then landsat 4 to 5 tm has 30 meter resolution spot 4 has a resolution of 20 meter okay so you can match them what will be the ndvi value if the value of red reflected radiant flux is 5 and near infrared radiant flux is 45 so those who have read ndvi which is normalized difference vegetative index uh, and there is ndvi and then there is ndsi which is snow index so formula for ndvi is uh, nir minus red upon nir which is near infrared plus uh, red reflected radiance so answer will be 0.8 so this is the formula 
in a periodic table element following glutatium have ionic radii almost identical with the element above them so this question is from our very <laughs> lovable or very own book which is winter this is lanthanide contraction which of the following correct silica oxygen ratio for amphibole so it is 4 ratio 11 which one of the following mineral is least stable in the secondary environment so we have read the Bauman reaction series right so opposite to the Bayern reaction series is Golditch series which is for the rate of weathering so which will weather first it uh, olivine will weather first then after that lies the pyroxin so here augite is a pyroxin so it will weather the process by which block fall from the roof of magma chamber and sink to the lower part is stopping so thanks to all for watching my channel do like share and subscribe and we will solve the next question in the next video which i will upload tomorrow this video i am going to upload today itself you will see this video today बहुत धक के खा खा के मैंने ये वीडियो बनाई है और ये ऐसा देखने में लगता है कि बस 10 मिनट की वीडियो है 15 मिनट की वीडियो है बट इसको बनाने के लिए कितना दिन लगते हैं दो तीन दिन चार दिन से मैं इतना कोशिश कर रही हूँ अपने आपको इतना ड्रैग कर रही हूँ कि मैं ये वीडियो बनाऊँ कि� I have done this and still you can see how versions are there. So let's go, no matter what. Tomorrow I will come to the other video. I will put the analysis in it. Watch this video for today. So thank you so much for watching. Do like, share and subscribe. We will see you in the next video. Bye bye.